ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in to Forever 80s. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, John. Um, got some more stuff to show you. Not really toys, just some really cool stuff. And not really 80s, well, late 80s. In this case, this is 1991. I don't remember when the show first came out, this 90210 show came out. I think it was 89, 90, I'm not sure. But anyways, isn't this so cool? I found a Beverly Hills 9210 study kit. Mint in package. Look at that. You got the Brendan Walsh and Dylan McKay pencil case. You have the ruler with all the gang. Holy sun. It's beautiful today. You got the pencil sharpener. Keep your pencils nice and sharpened before you erase it away with a, a Brendan Walsh. Before he was fat. Eraser. What am I talking about? He's not even fat. Yeah, I had to get this. This All is right. so cool. This is Gizmo in his uh, little red Corvette. Super disappointed when I actually opened the package and found out that this is not an 80s toy. Uh, it was in the bag of other random 80s toys, so I was like, oh wow, this is like a bonus for me. But apparently this is this was made by NECA Toys. There's no trademark on it, but I did some research. It's done by Mecca. It's it's fairly modern, but it'll look great on my shelf with my other um, Gremlins and Gizmo merchandise that I have. So and he's supposed to pull back and he's supposed to take off. Oh, there we go. Just like, oh, let me see this. Ichiwawa. Okay, no, that's a Ewok. And here's one of the items that was in that gizmo in the Corvette bag that I mentioned earlier. This is Spacey the Gobot from uh, Bandai Toys, 1985. Very large in scale. This is the Super Gobot, made out of die-cast metal, which I love about Gobots. Uh, I obviously love Transformers Generation 1, but I um, absolutely adore the Gobots as well. They are the shunned cousins in the Transformer world, but not in my eyes. I uh, welcome these guys with open arms right into my uh, toy collecting family. So let's transform Mr. Kevin Spacey, the go -Bot. And there he is. Check him out. Looks pretty awesome for a space shuttle Transformer. I really like him. I dig him. He's in great condition for white paint on die-cast metal. There's a few chips there, but... He's in phenomenal shape for 1985. I'll take this for a couple of bucks. The bag of goodies. All right, Kevin Spacey, back you go. Yes, yes, I know. I found the Joey McIntyre. He was so cheap. He came in that bag that I mentioned earlier. <clears throat> so yeah, that's it. Nice jacket though. Uh, the Radio Shack wire controlled skateboard. I don't really know the date of this. I'm gonna assume 86, 87. Maybe, maybe before that. But I do remember seeing these or having one of these. I'm not sure. I think my cousin had one or something. But yeah, I picked them up for two dollars in the box. I don't have batteries for him, but you guys want to see him outside the box. And so here he is. Wired remote. Skateboard. Up, down. Doing some ollies. Some, takes two double A's. It's pretty cool. It's got the checkered print on the board. Nice deck. Looks like in great shape. Does anyone know the year of this? I haven't done any research on it, but uh, well, it's something cool, really cheap. I think it's a great find. And that's it for me, guys. I'll be coming back to you soon with a comic book action figure collection. I do have a lot of uh, 90s X-Men action figures in, on, in card and, and boxed. Also some Spider-Man as well from the animated series, so stay tuned for that, guys, and see you later.